morning, everyone. We are going to be working on a super fun project. Eric and I have to move our outhouse and our outhouse is right behind me. We don't show it that often in the videos, pretty much for obvious reasons, but we do have an outhouse here at our cabin. Eric and I have been here for just under two years and we knew that this summer was going to be when we needed to move it. Real quickly, if you're not familiar with an outhouse, it's a really simple thing. It's just a hole dug in the ground. In our case, I believe the hole's close to six feet. It may not even be that deep. And there are some barrels in the ground. So there can be barrels or nothing at all. And basically all the waste goes into the ground. And then when it's time to move it, once it's full, you just move the outhouse and you cover up the hole. And outhouses may seem outdated, kind of strange, but they're extremely commonplace here in Alaska. In fact, I don't even think it's an odd thing at all. And truthfully, we were just gonna give you our quick opinion on them since we've been living with an outhouse for a little under the two year mark. And honestly, it is just, I feel like it's the way to go, at least in our life right now. It makes everything so simple. I know it's outside of the house and a lot of people think, oh man, you're gonna have to get dressed and go out to that house in the winter. It's really not a big deal. There's no plumbing, no water, no issues involved besides the fact that you have to relocate it every so often. That really is the only drawback about having an outhouse is that they really aren't permanent. Um, you can dig a really big hole, but eventually, depending upon how many people you have and how often the place is frequented, you know, it is going to fill up over time. Before we actually get the outhouse out of the ground and moved, we need to prep the new site. And we're gonna walk over there, check out the site, and we're gonna be doing something a little bit different instead of the traditional outhouse this time around. All right, guys, behind me is the site for the new outhouse. It's actually gonna go right where this wood pile is. We have about, I don't know, a cord and a half or two cords of wood sitting here. And this wood is eventually gonna go in the woodshed we're gonna build later this year. We don't have that built yet. So for now, we need to take all this wood. We're gonna stack it on these pallets I have over here. And then we also have a few dead trees sitting right here behind me. Those are gonna come down. And then we can get started on preparing the ground for our outhouse. Man, you know I just stacked some of this wood too. <laughs> I feel like we just stacked the whole thing. Three days is typical, I think, but they usually go too if you catch them in. That's the song he was singing in Step Brothers. Or when he asked him to sing because he said he's hella good singing. Which one? Will Ferrell. What song? That is the one. Fergie and Jesus. He's a little whippersnapper. It's okay, everybody calling me a nobody. Do you remember with the rim? The rim? The rim? No. <laughs> Wow, this will be really nice for the woodshed. Yeah. And maybe while we're back here, I'll clean up some of these trees. All right, we got all the wood stacked where it needs to be. Now it's time to start working on getting rid of some of these trees. These little couple ones right here need to go. And then, like I said, we're gonna take down those um, big dead ones that are right there while we're at it.
All right, we got all the trees taken down and we got them kind of limbed up and cut into sections. Now we are going to take all of it from over here and we're gonna hike it out into our bog. And we got a couple piles out there that we're looking to burn uh, come this fall. So we're gonna start bringing this all out there. I spy with this little eye of mine. Whoa. I saw him. Nesting. The brush is all out of the way. Now it is time to measure out and start digging holes to put our posts in the ground. And as you can tell, we're not digging a traditional hole for an outhouse. We are gonna be building a platform that our outhouse is actually gonna be raised up off the ground and sit on. And to build that platform, we're gonna be using this pile of railroad ties that we have sitting here. We picked these up used and they're in decent condition, good enough to build this platform. So we're gonna get our holes measured out and we're gonna get them dug. Interesting that it's playing games with the cloud cover today, you know what I mean? It's hot and now it's cold. And... Oh, my gloves are slipping. Okay, sorry. Go. Yeah. Alright, Matt, we're gonna flip it this way a little. Oh. Cause of... You know what I mean? Yeah, you want me to go up to it? Can you? Yeah, I think so. Solid enough, don't you think? Yep. You want me to keep shoveling? I right, need pack some of this in. How was that? Stuff's so heavy. <laughs> yeah. I guess. I, I got as much as you can fit in a little bit. Half. A little over 12 and a half. Actually, it might come my way just like a. Come off the way. How did you hit the wire with the track shoot one time? Did I hit the wire line? Oh, yeah, I did. What, what did we hit it with though when we were doing the electricity? Something, yeah. Oh, it was running right there when we were pulling out like blackberry bushes, is what it was, remember? Right kind of where I started doing the flowers, right? No, that's where I hit the electricity. That's electricity. I hit the water line that we had put in. That's what it was after the fact. Yeah. Get out of there. I didn't get any of it out. These hands lie. Oh, did you hear that? What was that, a rock? Yeah, babe. That's a rock. That's when I broke my wrist. No, that's. <laughs> All right, guys, we got a lot done today. This big rainstorm just hit. So it's getting kind of late in the evening. We're calling it quits for today, and we'll pick back up with you tomorrow. All right guys, we're back out working on the outhouse project again this morning. We got our two holes dug last night before it started raining. So our next step is to get these two back posts into the ground. 
um, packed in with dirt and gravel and then we're going to cut them to the height that we need them and then we're going to connect this platform to that platform put all of our brackets in and at that point i think we're going to be ready to start seeing if we can dig that outhouse out of the ground and pulled over here measurements what do you think I think so you correct me I'm sorry then one's are for you All right, we got this top beam connected down to the post and we're using these T-brackets and some big bolts. And then once we get finished with that back one, which we're working on next, we're gonna get some railroad ties cut to connect this one all the way to that section over there. Don't flip it yet. I'm just gonna go up straight. Surface room. Watch out, there's some screws sticking out of there. The platform is officially done and it's definitely really big and sturdy. Yeah, all in all, we're really happy with it. Um, it's not perfect exactly but that's because we're using the railroad ties that are used and they're not in perfect condition but i think with the heavy angles and the you know tees that we used i think that everything should hold up fine railroad ties in general are pretty nasty pieces of wood in our opinion we have a few around here but for the purpose of this outhouse i you know we wanted something that was going to last and i think they were they're going to be appropriate for us here Okay, next up on the list for today we're going to head over to the actual outhouse and we're going to see if we can dig it out of the ground and get it moving Okay, good. come down. It's nice to sit on that other wood down there too. That's real nice. So the outhouse is jacked up. It was actually pretty easy. I just used the digging bar and a little log and we were able to pry it up. Now we have it sitting up on four pieces of wood. So it's broken free. Uh, I think the next thing that we're going to do is I have an old strap and I'm going to bolt it onto the front of this thing on the two beams. And then we're going to see if we can get the Polaris over here and get it hooked to the winch and see if we can get this thing to actually move around. This is the strap we're using. This is an old one we have that has some uh, loops tied in it that we couldn't get out. We use this one for like just pulling stuff around. So I'm gonna drill some holes into it. We're gonna sacrifice it. And I've got some big bolts here with some uh, big washers on them.
foot. We finished up for the day. We got the outhouse moved and out of its spot and we also covered up the existing waste so that's already dealt with. Yep we've got quite a bit done on the new outhouse build. We built the platform, we got the outhouse completely moved out into the front of the house so that's pretty much going to do it for this video. The next time you see us working on this project it is going to be pretty much us trying to figure out how the heck we are going to get that outhouse up on top of this thing. We have a couple different ideas that we're kind of bouncing around on how to get that thing up on top of here. You guys will see that in the next episode. And we will be talking a little bit more about what we're actually building here, what kind of outhouse system this is. So we'll see you guys next time.